I don't really think of myself as an entrepreneur. I thought for a really long time that I had to pursue a very traditional career path. The first company that I started and Otter were both started by accident. I just set out to help people and then it turned into a company. In September 2018, I went into a lawyer's office to sign a partnership for my first company. And then that same day, I went into a doctor's office. I'd had cervical cancer three times. I was told I would never get to be a mom. I was thinking that I was maybe a couple weeks pregnant and walked out knowing that I was six and a half months pregnant with twins. It changed my life forever. I started thinking about childcare during the pandemic. And I became a stay-at-home mom by default. And I started thinking about how to structure their life, how to give them activities to do. But at the same time, I was noticing that there were a lot of other families who were really struggling to find childcare. And I started thinking about the reasons why that was. My goal for Otter is to become the place where parents and caregivers come to find childcare that works for them. And I want to think about the entire child care ecosystem. I think a lot about whether I would trust Otter with my own kids. For us, trust is key. Without trust, we don't exist. I think actually a lot of running a company is like sprinting. You reach your highest velocity usually around the 60th meter. And there are a lot of races that are just 50 meters long you pass the finish line and you're actually still accelerating. I love the opportunity to just push myself for a short amount of time and then kind of evaluate and iterate very quickly. I started writing poetry when I was in high school. I made a Tumblr account. It's also how I got my start coding. Poetry for me, it's really a kind of release mechanism. It's something artistic that blends with the very technical work that I do outside of that. Coding and poetry are at a point of community and they're actually very intertwined in a lot of ways. Starting a company the way I did and having kids the way I did, I think a lot about the ways in which that's surprising. Parenting just forces you to look twice, better understand, and it's really shaped the way that I manage teams, the way that I hire, the way that I work with people. I look back on who I was three years ago, five years ago, and I never would have thought that I would be 27, running a startup and having twins who are now four and a half. I'm really grateful that I get to be here and do this work. And I don't take it for granted because I never thought it was an option in the first place.